संवाद के इस सबसे बड़े मेले की औपचारिक शुरुआत के लिए मैं मंच पर बुलाना चाहूंगा टीवी नाइन नेटवर्क के सीईओ मिस्टर वरुण दास को थैंक यू दिनेश नमस्कार ऑनरेबल यूनियन मिनिस्टर श्री नितिन गडकरी जी एस्टीम स्पीकर्स डिस्टिंग्विस्ट गेस्ट लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम टू द इनाग्रल एडिशन ऑफ टीवी नाइन वॉट इंडिया थिंक्स टूडे ग्लोबल समिट आई थैंक ईच वन ऑफ यू प्रेजेंट हियर एंड ऑफ व्यूअर्स वॉचिंग इट एट होम फॉर योर कंटिन्यूअस सपोर्ट and making tv9 group the number one news network of our country over the next two days we'll listen to ideas and experiences of 75 speakers on policies governance strategy vision as well as challenges besides a galaxy of honorable cabinet ministers state chief ministers business leaders news makers we would also host two former global state leaders David Cameron and Hamid Karzai as Dinesh said our theme for this global summit is vishwa guru how near how far today i find india at a point of inflection on one hand as a nation we have started dreaming and acting like a true leader on the other hand we have just witnessed serious inadequacy in western leadership which could not prevent russia ukraine war as we all know the ramifications of this war last far far longer than the war itself the world supply chain issues and inflation is all time high and that will affect every individual on this planet looking at these two parallel developments i'm constantly reminded of bengali poet atul prasad sen's century old desire india will once again rise to the pinnacle of the world in his own language which is my mother tongue bengali bharat abad jagat sabhay shreshtho ashon labe finally the dream of vishwa guru is near not far despite being a colony for 200 years india did not become a colonizer despite fighting four wars post independence India never waged a war despite hostile neighbors India's rise to the global high table has been peaceful unlike all others rises in the global arena in modern time as a nation we have always been a symbol of peace in our way of being but amongst many recent transformations the most formidable is that we now have decided to reciprocate when needed first came the surgical strike then the balakot air strike called out pakistan's nuclear bluff in galwan india exhibited that when it comes to national interest size doesn't matter india becoming a superpower on the foundation of peace is thus not a question of if but when and i believe ladies and gentlemen we are near not far In the recent past leadership intent was further exhibited when we mass produced covid-19 vaccines not only for ourselves but also for the world the reality of india becoming the pharmacy of the world is near not far beyond our boundaries prime minister narendra modi has not only rallied the glo global diaspora to come forward and wear the india badge proudly he has also surely and firmly built brand india stronger than ever before it stands on the legs of atmanirbhar bharat india is the sixth largest economy in the world racing to get into the league of top 5 we are the only major economy which outperformed pre pandemic growth levels our dream is to get to 5 trillion dollar economy and i believe we are near not far If we look at infrastructure development connecting the hinterland to the industrial hubs is the challenge being driven by our honorable minister who is present with us 
Mr. Nitin Gadkari ji. This year, sir, you have allocated over $200 billion for road infrastructure, 22 green expressways, and you have promised us that by 2024, India's infrastructure will be comparable to that of the US. 2024, ladies and gentlemen, near, not far. When it comes to geopolitical environment, there are countless examples that give us confidence that India is well poised to take the center stage. Most notable recently when America unilaterally exited Afghanistan, leaving a political mayhem behind, India took the lead in organizing a conference of national security advisors of Central Asian countries. Even during the Ukraine crisis, a galaxy of global leaders came to India to gauge Mr. Modi's mind, but India stood firm with its bold policy of strategic autonomy, to which I agree, as Mr. Jayashankar, S. Jayashankar very proudly said, to hold your ground is not the same as sitting on the fence. Our stance was loud and clear. I quote him again, Europe's problem is not the world's problem. We are not sitting on the fence. We acted as per our national interest, Operation Ganga, no Indian left behind. I believe that this is Indian century. Opportunity doesn't knock the door twice. As India takes a giant leap forward, it is time for each one of us to act with ownership and, risk and accountability. As a nation, we must seize the opportunity with both hands. Our goals are near, not far. I'll end this and let the summit take off. Let us discover what India indeed thinks today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Baru.